Hello and welcome to our new episode of Caramon Wonders. We are currently at the Bibi Hayati Museum and today we're going to talk about one of the most beautiful and interesting handicrafts of Caramon. This elegantly woven art is called the Shiraki Peach Gilin. The Shiriki Peach Gilin is a woven art that was originally uh, derived from the Afshar tribes. As these Afshari nomads had to travel from region to region, they created the looms in a horizontal way to be able to move them around easily. The size of the gilins are much smaller than the rugs we find in cities. So we're going to talk about the shiraki peach, the word or the term shiraki peach. Uh, shirak, as I've been told by one of the staff members of the exhibition, uh, means sharik in Farsi. The word sharik means partnership. As these gilims uh, were usually woven in pairs, uh, they used the word Shirak, and the word peach was by the way that it was woven or the order in which it was woven. So if we take a look at behind one of these gilims, we notice that the way they have been woven is in a horizontal way. And the peach, or they say uh, the knot, it's um, woven around the two threads instead of knotted like the carpets. One of the most basic differences from the modernized Shiraki Peach Gilims and the older ones is that the modernized ones use curved lines and have a previous uh, pattern design. But the older Shiraki Peach designs used rigid lines and they were all woven from memory without any previous pattern designs. Something that I really, really loved about these gilims was that they were like totally uh, created from uh, the nomads, uh, as they said, uh, their, how they felt at the moment they were weaving uh, the gilims. Uh, something interesting that I heard was that the old designs, uh, if they used bright and vibrant colors, meant that the person who was weaving them felt really good at that time. But on the other hand, if they used dark colors, it meant that they weren't feeling uh, that, that well. Uh, so basically, uh, from my point of view, having seen these gilims and these beautiful, fantastic works of art, I uh, don't really like the modernized types, but I actually fell in love with this old uh, Shiraki peach design. Uh, the energy it gave me, how it made me feel when I thought about how the nomads uh, would sit on the floor and weave this piece of art. In such a short time, uh, it, just, it just gave me this fantastic feeling. You won't believe what I found in the exhibition. Like, can you believe that this was woven by hand? Because I basically can't draw a straight line without using a ruler. 
Look at the different designs that we have here. It's just so crazy. On the border of the Gelim, we have leaves and flower shapes. And then when we come to the center, we notice that it's telling us a story. Maybe it was a story about the nomad who was migrating from a place. Um, here at the top, we have a caravan. We have the camels uh, with all the uh, stuff on it and traveling together like they're connected even by the ropes and you can just like basically see that and when you come down we see different shapes and I can't make out what this might be but it's probably part of the story that's going on and then we have uh, this snake spiral shape that separates this section from this one and we have peacocks here and look at the colors that they they were using and not to mention that the colors were all plant-based colors and no chemicals at all. And as we continue down, we uh, see uh, more peacocks. And here, I notice that uh, there's this woman figure. And their dresses are all different colors and styles. And here we have goats. This is so cool. And at the bottom of the... Uh, Gilim, we also have the camel uh, shapes, which is continued by the floral designs. These feel so cool. I think the woman said that it's called Golompak and Ris. You know, and it's made uh, from the extra wool that isn't used in the gleams. So I kind of like it. It's, it's like this makeup brush that I use to put on my blush in the morning. Okay, here we have an example of a modernized gleam. Now, in this modernized gleam, what do we what do we see? We have these embossed patterns which are created by uh, knots by a knot system used in carpets. So uh, the person who wove this decided to have something in between a carpet and a gilim. In the background, we have the gilim designs and uh, its most basic characteristic, which is the rigid lines and its flat surface. Unlike the carpet designs, which are uh, softer and uh, we have curved designs in them, and as I said, they are also embossed by the system of knots that are used while weaving. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Kermon Wonders. I know that I really enjoyed being with you and don't forget to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Till our next episode, goodbye and khoda negahda.